Hey everybody, this week we're going to be working on designing a piece of furniture in SketchUp. You guys can design any piece of furniture that, that you want. It could be a table, it could be a chair, it could be a couch, it could be a cabinet, it could be whatever you want. Um, I'm going to be designing a desk this week. Um, we have a space in our house that's 85 inches wide and um, we have windows that are 29 inches off of the floor over there and we already have a desk in that area but uh, we've been thinking about making a custom built-in desk for that corner so I'm going to use uh, this opportunity to kind of start playing around with some designs and how I might set it up. So. My main parameters again is the width is 85 inches and the height is 29 inches. I'm going to make the depth of the desk be three feet deep. So it's going to be a good sized desk. Um, it's going to be a computer desk, not really so much a writing desk. So 29 inches is a little lower than a typical desk, but it's actually a pretty nice height for typing on. So, so that'll work out just fine for us. Again, you get to design whatever you want. So. I'm just going to start like cruising through some of this. Uh, I may fast forward through a lot of it. I may decide to just cut out into different sections. But I wanted you guys to kind of come along with me here and see what I'm doing and hopefully this inspires you. Talking about inspiration, make sure that before you start something, you do a little bit of research. Um, I can start doing some built-in desk type research and I can start thinking about some ideas that I might want to be able to utilize for my, for my desk and start really thinking about you know what, what's out there that people have already done that's already great. What do I like? You know, one thing that I don't like about a lot of these desks is the storage above them. I, I, it would be great to have, but we have windows above where we want to put this desk, so that's not going to work. This idea here with, with multiple stations is really nice so that I could have kind of my desk and my wife could have her desk. Um, but we're also looking for an area where we get to keep our computer and we can, we can do our work from home. So again, I'm just going to play around with this. I want you guys to play around with this your activity. You know, I'm kind of expecting that you guys do some design work for an hour to an hour and a half. And then you're going to submit that to me from there. So let's, let's just check this out and we'll go from here. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is a picture of my kitchen. My kitchen is going to be the inspiration for my project. The kitchen um, top doors here, these are walnut. That's going to be the top to my desk. It's also going to be the fronts of my drawers. But similar, I'm going to do a two-tone thing where I have some painted aspects of it and um, some natural wood aspects of it. So the base is going to be either like a navy blue like this or a black. I'm going to kind of take a look at it in SketchUp to make that determination. I'm also going to use gold hardware on the drawers. And again, I might use like this black as the body instead, but, but I'm going to be basing all of this off of my kitchen. So when I go to start drawing this, I'm just going to walk you through the beginning here of my, my thought process. I'm starting off with just a very basic shape of my piece. And if you look in the bottom right corner, I just typed in 85 inches comma 36 inches. So that's the size of that base. And then I just brought it up 29 feet on accident. So I needed to make sure to put in the 29 and then the comma to make it 29 inches. From here, I'm going to start dropping things like my tabletop in. Okay, I want my thickness for my tabletop to be drawn in here. And I'm going to bring this over. And then I start putting in a toe kick down at the bottom here that I'm going to ultimately remove. But I'll start showing you. So one thing here, even though I'm going to delete this, one thing that's important to take a look at is that when I go to draw something, I typically use a um, line tool to be able to measure, or the pencil tool to be able to measure. Oh, I forgot there. I shrunk that down by six inches. So 
So when I go to measure this, I'm gonna come up and notice I draw my line and then I type four. So that's a four inch long line. I find the end point and then I can connect over. This is what's called a toe kick. It's typically put in on cabinets, not on desks. Um, so that when you're standing at a cabinet, your toes can like go underneath of the cabinet. I decided that desks don't have that. That kind of looks ridiculous. So I, I got rid of it. I got rid of that line, Control Z. It's gonna help you out a bunch. Um, and then I'm starting to think now about my drawers. So all my drawers are gonna be three quarters of an inch away from the surfaces. So I'm measuring down 0.75 with my line tool. I'm gonna find the end point of that. I'm gonna measure over 0.75 with my line tool. And that's where I'm gonna start drawing from there. I'm gonna grab a rectangle tool. And all of my drawers in my case are 18 inches wide. So on the bottom right, you're gonna see that I'm gonna type 18 eventually here. And then this one is five inches high. So 18 comma five. And I hit return. I'm gonna put an eighth of an inch space between each of my drawers. So again, with my line tool, I'm gonna to come down 0.125. And then I'm gonna start drawing my next drawer. All my drawers, except for some filing cabinet drawers, are 18 inches wide. The two top ones are four inches. The two, the bottom one here that I'm drawing, I think it's six inches deep. And then the bottom most one that I'm about to draw, I believe is eight inches deep. Um, I could be remembering those dimensions slightly wrong, but they're all 18 inches wide. Um, and then I can come down to my next one as well and start dropping that in. Okay, so my bottom drawer is actually 10 inches deep. So at this point I need to go through and I need to clean up my lines. Notice I'm taking the eraser tool, notice I'm zooming in. Get rid of all of those like measuring lines that um, are left behind. Delete those. And now I'm left with my four drawer fronts. I can use the push-pull tool, which you can either grab from the side or you can hit the P button. And I actually decided that my drawer or my whole desk front should go in a little further, so I push it in 0.75. So basically between the face of the actual desk, not the drawer front, but the desk to the edge of the um, countertop or like the, the desktop is going to be an inch and a half. My drawer fronts hang out 0.75 and the rest of my uh, tabletop is going to hang out another 0.75. And here I'm starting to draw some lines to start putting like the opening to sit within, but I realize that I'm not drawing on the face of the object here. I'm drawing um, in the middle. So I create a new line that's actually on the face of the object, 0.75 away. Then I come straight down. And then this is where I'm gonna start drawing the footwell. So I bring my edge of my foot well all the way to the top and then I try to use the offset tool here but offset just brings the whole thing in which is not what I want so I end up measuring over 24 inches for my foot well width make sure that you're on that red line I'm gonna come over 24 inches then I'm gonna come up from there. And then later, so I'm finding my endpoint right now. That's the midpoint, so then I double that up. Oh, there's the endpoint right there. So that's 24 inches over. I actually push-pull this to make it a little wider later on, because 24 inches looks a little crowded under there, especially with the proportions. When I push this back, I'm also only gonna push it back 24 inches, which it's gonna give me some space in the back to be able to run wires ultimately um, from my computer and stuff. Just a little wire management space which I can show you guys later on. And again, I'm gonna start clicking through and cleaning things up. So what we're gonna do here 
is I'm going to start fast forwarding through a lot of this stuff and when I start to get to the coloring portion and adding some more details, um, I will show you guys what's going on. Okay, so just want to show you guys a couple things here. When I go to push-pull, I can use an extra surface that I've already like grabbed out to that 0.75 as a stopping point. So I did that there. All right, so all my drawers are drawn in at this point. Um, I decided I want a little bit more space on either end of this, so I bumped this out like another half inch on both ends. Um, and now I'm going to start adding just some details as we go through here. I'm going to continue my top and like separate that out from the rest, otherwise I won't be able to color it different from the rest. So I'm just drawing this line all the way around my object. Some other stuff that I'm going to start to do here is I want to, I think next here is I'm going to work on making this opening for like running cables and stuff. Okay, so um, I actually want like an opening in my tabletop, but I'm going to start drawing it here on the bottom. I grab my rectangle tool and then I use this like um, circle arc tool thing and I grab both these points and I bring this out to the point where it's a semicircle or a half circle. Do the same thing on the opposite side. I can grab the delete tool and delete those uh, lines that remain from the rectangle that I no longer need. When I go to push pull this, I'm gonna push pull it all the way through the object so it creates a hole in the top. You guys remember bring this all the way down to that edge on the front. And now that creates a hole in the top of my desk, right? So again, this is where things like the wires for the computer, the monitor, the whatever else can run down and ultimately go to either like a desktop computer that I could tuck in the back of this footwell or more likely just go to an outlet because I'm probably gonna use a laptop and a docking station or something with, with this desk. That's what we do right now at least. So. This opening in the back, I want it to be completely open like that so that uh, that goes right over top of our outlet. It'll make it easier again to, um, to connect and wire things up and make it look nice and clean in the end, which clean wiring is something that I'm always kind of personally going for. I'm trying to erase the bottom of that, I can't. What I really should have done is push that back first and then created that object. So there's a little piece there um, but again, from the top, it looks still good. So I just decided like, eh, not, not the end of the world. I'll just go with it. Um, and then I think pretty soon I'm gonna start coloring. Go to color here again the top is going to be walnut there's 
this is probably the closest color to the walnut that I have, so this is what I'm going to select. And, you know, one of the things about this program is you got to select every single surface that you want that color to be. Okay, so go through, to spend like a little bit of time moving around to, to hit different areas. Um, at my tabletop, again, all of my drawer fronts are going to be walnut also, and so are all of the sides of the drawer fronts, okay? Lots of clicking to get all these drawers done. We will fast forward through this. Okay, so I've drawn the blue in, and now I'm gonna start putting some handles in here, okay? So I'm just drawing, to start with, an X between my, my pieces so I can find the middle point. And remember, if you hit the control button on your keyboard, you can change your triangle tool, or I'm sorry, your rectangle tool from starting on the um, corner to corner, and instead you can do it in the face. So I'm making my what will be my handle, six inches wide and one inch tall, and they're gonna be centered on each drawer. As I go through this, I realize like I don't really need to make an X, I can just make a single line, and then find the midpoint later on and use that. So after I got all those lines drawn in, I'm starting to draw rectangles for my handles. And again, I hit control, so I was doing a center point triangle or rectangle, and they're all six by one inches, okay? So the other thing that I need to do with all these lines that I've drawn is I need to delete them. And they automatically uh, trim to the nearest line, so you need to go through and cut like all of these. taking my handles and bumping them out an inch from the surface. I'm grabbing that tool next to it to use it. And then I'm going to start coloring them in. I want them to be gold, which is not in the metal um, category. So I'm going to find the nearest color to gold and then use that.
So here I am. Uh, one thing I think I skipped over is the fact that I did change the color to black. I didn't like any of the blues. Um, I have all my handles colored and things are, things are done here. Okay, so now the question is, how are we gonna save this and how are you gonna turn this in? All right, so in the top left here, after I'm done kind of showing you the, the projects, top left we can change the name if you click on untitled it's going to say where do you want to save it to you can save it to your sketchup folder I'm going to name it i think i named mine dde temp oh i guess i named it desk i thought it was dde furniture but i've named it desk the other thing that we need to do is we need to export that image and that's what you're going to send to me so come down to export and then go to the stl file or i'm sorry the png file png uh, we're going to use an isometric view. We're going to zoom in nice and close. Transparent background, I personally like better because we don't have that um, distraction in the back there. And then we click the export as PNG in the bottom right, okay? And you can actually see the fact that desktop.png was downloaded to my computer. And when I open this up, it's a picture of my desk. Excellent. So I'm ready to email this. All right, so I jump in to here and I start doing an email and then I realize that ah, I better do this from Gmail, which is exactly where you guys are gonna be doing it from. So I open up Gmail and inside of here, um, I'm gonna start to compose a new email. It's taken a moment to load, but I'm gonna compose a new email and I'm going to send that again to uh, bashinaandkani.org or you could send it to brian.ashinaandccsk12.org. You're going to type in the subject DDE Furniture Design. And then down here, you're going to go to your downloads and grab your desk or whatever it is that you've saved yours as. And uh, I'm just double checking the fact that it's the right file by opening it, sure is. And then it's always nice, you know, some of you guys send me really nice messages, some of you guys just send me your assignments, but it's always nice to include what it is that you're, you're sending. And then uh, just make sure to put your name in there and then you can send it. And once you're done with that, then you're done with this activity. Okay, so nice job everybody. Email me with any questions, we'll talk to you later on. Bye-bye.